Hey, welcome to another video of uh, Double Masters VIP opening. I uh, had a box I was going to save and it was just kind of sitting there looking at me and I decided that I wanted to open it because it's a lot more fun. So, let's see what we can get here. Skipping most of the cards here, get straight to the rares. Okay, Masterwork of Ingenuity. Glimmer Void. Goblin Guide. All right. Let's see what's next here. I don't recognize that card. Ooh! Oh, nice. Oh yes, I've been uh, I've been wanting one of these, and uh, I just haven't pulled one out of all the packs that I've opened yet. And uh, it wasn't really a big deal at first, you know, because I was getting a lot of other stuff. Uh, but you know, hey, it's one of those things where you don't have it and you really want it. Uh, it's a great looking card, and you know, I decided to uh, keep some of these for my own collection. So uh, that's kind of a big reason why I wanted to to get it. Um, there it is, awesome. Ooh, first pack too. Okay. Uh, sometimes the goblin guy can be very misleading, I guess, for me. If you look at, at a lot of other videos, uh, sometimes you get a good card with it. Sometimes you don't. Oh, there it is. Awesome. Close. First rare heat shimmer. Ooh, Lantex foil. Hey, that's nice. I don't usually get good uh, pulls in the regular rare slots, so these are always very awesome to get for me. Right. Academy ruins. Decent, not that great. Let's see what's next here. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. That's still pretty good. Right? One of the uh, top rares you can get. It's not a mythic, but it's still better than a lot of other mythics that you could get. of sets the tone for the entire box um really those are still not too bad because this is a pretty good card and, and it's still got a little bit of decent value you could do worse you know what i mean I'd definitely do worse let's see if we can get a close hitter okay first rare fire lit thicket Fulminator Mage. Oh, that 
looks like a land. Yeah, one of the Urzas. You guys see in the top here? Let's see. Mm, my Sword of War and Peace. Mythic. Another Mythic. Not the better Mythics, but, you know, it's still a Mythic. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright, one pack left. Urza's Mine's really not that bad to pull for a first, uh, first showcase. First rare thought reflection. Ooh, not bad. Cyclonic Rift. That's uh, still a good card. It's got good value to it to pull in the uh, the regular rare. Like I said, for me, anything that's got some value is good for me because I get garbage in the regular rare slots normally. But uh, I am doing pretty good in this box. Let's see what's next. First, uh, Phyrexian Metamorph. All right, well, this one's better than that first showcase. Uh, Cyclonic Rift will make up for it. Let's see. What is that? Is that a... S uh, Urza's Tower. Uh, I thought that was the top of a sword first. Uh, not too bad, I guess. Still decent value. Not that great when paired with uh, Phyrexian Metamorph, but, I mean, it's eh, still a really decent box uh, i got mana crypt carrying the weight over here but i am not going to complain i pulled a card in the first pack that i really wanted so uh, i'm really happy about that one you really can't complain like i said and uh all these a lot of these are still pretty decent cards you know carries the value of it all right well that's it for this one thanks for watching guys hopefully i get some more vip packs uh, i'm really not supposed to be getting any more because the price is going up and any ones that I get, I kind of want to sit on and save, you know, for uh, selling in the future of sealed boxes. But we'll see. I'm uh, I'm a little bit addicted to opening packs. It's just a little bit too much fun here. All right. Thanks, guys.